Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the uh, performance analysis of two Radeon RX 590 in crossfire mode. As you know, AMD have disabled the ability to run crossfire mode on all of the latest Radeon RX 55, 56, as well as 57 inch series, which is a shame really. But we do know for the fact that it does run crossfire on the older generation, the RX 570, 580, as well as the 590. So I thought I'll give it a go and put these two Radeon RX 590 and uh, see how it performs. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, crossfire setup with the two RX 590 will perform in real life tests. And uh, we'll be comparing it with the single RX 590 as well as the latest Radeons and of course uh, the GeForce uh, RTXs. So uh, let's uh, not waste any time, get cracking, build up a test rig and put these two Radeon RX 590 in the test system. We'll see you in a bit. After building the test rig and doing some tests, we find that uh, having two Radeon RX 590 in crossfire mode only offers a marginal increase in performance over a single RX 590 card. For TimeSpy, we managed to get a score of uh, 9,654, which is a big improvement over the single card. For Firestrike, the score was 23,047, again a big boost in performance. And finally, in Firestrike Extreme, we got a score of 12,384, which again is another big boost. Bear in mind, these FutureMark benchmarks are our synthetic tests. What we're really after are real life tests. So uh, let's move on. Okay, next we have the uh, Unigine 2 Superposition benchmark in 4K optimized mode. The RX 590 in Crossfire produced a four point increase over a single RX 590. For Final Fantasy XV, the score was oddly lower than a single RX 590 at 4,437 versus uh, 4,477. And this is the same for benchmark GPU tests, which produced a score of 4,259 versus uh, 4,285. And finally, for a Forza 4 benchmark, the pair of uh, Radeon RX 590 could only master 84 frames per second versus 87 frames per second for a single card. As you can see, in our synthetic benchmarks, the increase may be small, but it's still an increase nevertheless. This falls in line with what uh, we expected, so there's no surprise here. However, in real-life gaming tests, the performance may be a bit lower than you expected. On the upside, if you're running a 4K monitor, then having a pair of Radeon RX 590 in crossfire mode will definitely help. 4K resolutions or above require a lot of uh, processing power, especially if you have uh, two 4K monitors. As with most multi-GPU setups, you're not going to see any real improvements in terms of uh, performance over a single card, especially during gaming. Even if there are, the improvements uh, are probably only marginal and even uh, negligible. And there's always the fact that uh, the graphics drivers need to be updated and uh, of course be able to support the multi-GPU for the games that you're uh, going to play. Users of Adobe Suite or any uh, content creator software may not see any real benefit from the Crossfire multi-GPU setup. However, having said that, Adobe did mention that some of their applications will work with Crossfire, so uh, you'll have to check out their website for more information on that. It's quite sad to see the fact that uh, AMD have discontinued its support for uh, Crossfire and uh, multi-GPU setup. I can see why, especially when approximately 99% of the software out there don't actually support multi-GPU. And what's even more disturbing is the fact that all of the latest Radeon RX 5000 series graphics cards, including the RX 5500, 5600 and also the 5700 series, do not support Crossfire anymore. It seems that Crossfire is only available on the previous generation of graphics cards, such as the Radeon RX 570, 580 and of course the 590. The RX 590 will be the last of the graphics cards from AMD that can support Crossfire. As I mentioned earlier, 
it is unfortunate that AMD have retired the uh, Crossfire technology. I always liked having a multi-GPU setup, even though that many games and software don't actually show any real benefits, and to be honest, it's not really worth it anyway. But at the end of the day, it just looks so good. You can check out the full article at our sister site at uh, amd3d.com. And there you have it, that was the performance analysis of uh, two Radeon RX 590 in Crossfire mode, offering very good performance over the single card. Now, if you ask me whether it's actually worth getting two Radeon RX 590 for Crossfire mode, um, maybe not, uh, but definitely uh, something that you could look into if you already have uh, an RX 590. Uh, an additional card will give you a little boost performance, but if you're building a new system, then I suggest you get a single high-end graphics card, and that's probably all you'll ever need. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy all these items via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com. Just a short announcement, I'd like to introduce you to the uh, Rig Builder, our system configurator by FunkyKit. FunkyKit provides the latest in tech news, reviews and hot tips. So why not let us come up with a list of components that will be perfect for your system build by using Rig Builder. You can build your perfect rig in five simple steps. Step 1, select the category. Step 2, select your budget. Step 3, pick the brand of processor. Step 4, also pick your brand of your graphics card and then step 5, hit the submit button. Rig Builder will come up with a list of uh, components that will be perfect for your system build. You can hit the individual links to uh, view the product in our Amazon store or uh, scroll down and hit the uh, buy all button. Rig Builder is in beta version and we hope to add more features as we go along. So give us your feedback and comments and uh, we hope you enjoy using Rig Builder by FunkyKit.